My name is Eustace Mamba. I am a second year MFA student. As an artist, I'm an interdisciplinary artist. Um, I'm primarily focused on painting. And my name is Julio Galvez. I am beginning my first year MFA. In my previous life, I used to be a dentist. I wanted to reshuffle things in my life and find a new direction, and I landed in PAFA. I'm Clint Jukula. I'm the executive dean at PAFA. I'm a painter, and I get the opportunity to teach students as well as administering. My name is Claire Secure. I'm originally from New Hope. I'm currently a fifth year certificate and I just graduated with my BFA majoring in painting and minoring in printmaking. As a transfer student, I chose PAFA because of the history. I fell in love with not only the historical landmark building, but also learning about many of the artists that have come here in the past, including people like Barclay Hendricks. I wanted to join that history and also find out more about the school by joining. I think that the support comes in many ways. I think that it's not only delivering high quality education, they kind of help you find your way. One of the things that I'm really grateful about PAFA is the way that they have helped me economically with it. That scholarship has supported me a great deal, which I'm very grateful for it. With our museum school context, students get a 360 degree view of the art world. They not only learn how to make art, uh, studying with the faculty, they learn from the museum staff, the curators, exhibiting artists. They learn the professional and business side of art. PAFA students are some of the most talented, hardworking, dedicated, committed artists there are. They are serious about their education. They take responsibility for their own education and pathways, and they're do-it-yourselfers. PAFA gives me a lot of space and resources. I really love the studio spaces. They're really large, and just the critique program has been really fulfilling. Uh, I also just really rely on support from my teachers here. They're just really here to help, and it's been really great getting to know them and having them get to know my work. I definitely wouldn't be here without the scholarship that's enabled me to first and foremost be here, but also just come into my own like creatively. PAFA supports me as an person in so many ways. Opportunity is the first thing that comes to mind. From my first semester that I came here, I got an internship with student services. I've worked in the library. <laughs> I've been a lab tech. There's so many jobs and opportunities here at school to not only bolster yourself as a professional, but also as an artist. And that's something that I've really taken advantage of while I've been here at PAFA. Students here get outstanding skills in foundational art making. So they're learning how to draw, work from observation. They're also learning how to be an artist in the world and how to live a sustainable, creative life. Reflecting on, on being an artist is, I think it's a road that never ends. It's a path of discovery and translating your views as an artist to the world. So, you know, like it's, it's an unfinished work until the day that I die. I think as an artist right now, my main goal is to inspire other people of color to see that being an artist is a feasible and possible thing. I didn't have many role models who looked like me as a kid. And after I kind of discovered those role models, I realized that it was important for me to not only pursue art, but also inspire others to become artists in the future. And PAFA is one of the places where I feel like I can do that best. Having the opportunity to, to have the museum is like a statement of all the people that were or have been here. Maybe one day I could be one of those people that is, is going to be presented in, on these walls.